Red Voyage News splashing the check in. Thank you for tuning in. And this article right here is brought to you by VladTV.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to read. So sex offender accused of watching child porn for hours on iPad at AT AT&T store. Now, a lot of people are wondering, how is somebody able to even watch illegal child pornography on an iPad in an AT&T store? Like you don't have access to that on the surface web. Now, I was thinking the same thing, too. I don't know what to use exactly, but they do have what's called proxy server websites. So I know we use them in middle school. And the only reason why we use them in middle school is because on the school server that we were on, because I had a computer class, we would only use it in order to play video games because there were certain websites you can go to in order to gain access to certain video games. So at the time, when I was in middle school, we used proxy servers in order to play a game called Quake 3. All right. It was just like a, you know, like a multiplayer shooting game, kind of like Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? But this guy... If he did use a server, he used it for evil. And he's already a sex offender. Just by looking at this mugshot, you could tell he looks like a sex offender. He looks like a real life cartoon character, a real creepy cartoon character. He he looks like Count Chocula. <laughs> the cereal box, he looks like Count Chocula. All right. According to reports, a convicted sex offender left employees at an AT&T store in Boulder, Colorado, I've been to Colorado before, horrified as he watched child porn on an iPad until the workers called the police. No, so he was just bold with it. Nathan Wood, 38 years old, recently pleaded not guilty to charges related to the April 18th incident, which included sexual exploitation of a child and attempted sexual exploitation of a child. Both are felony offenses. So it said right here on the um, the iPad he was using, they found German phrases in the search history that amounted to nude Children. Okay. He also visited sites that displayed underage victims of sexual assault. Prior to the recent felony charges, Wood was convicted of a sexual assault and burglary stemming from a 2011 incident. Reports from back then said he he had stole women's clothing from bathrooms and female dormitories at the University of Colorado and also assaulted a woman acquaintance as she slept in such a dorm. So the thing is, is, I mean, this is a a hardcore weirdo. This is a class A creep. This is a dirt bag. All right. Now, now the main thing that I'm, I'm bothered by from this article right here is that he visited sites that displayed underage victims of sexual assault. So there needs to be an investigation on these websites and the, the people behind them need to be investigated. And the thing is, having a site that displays underage victims of sexual assault, you know, that's the reason why you, you, you can't trust your kids just going outside, roaming around the streets outside. You know, I know back in the days we used to, you know, just play outside, play outside. A lot of kids aren't playing outside today. They're not active like before. A lot of kids are overweight more so today than before. And even though that's a bad thing, and we're going through COVID right now, so there's a lot of kids that are inside, you know, besides COVID and a lot of kids just being inside, playing on the iPad, playing on the computer, playing on Xbox Live, a PS5 Live, the PlayStation Live. It's almost like it's a good thing because, you know, you wonder where do these kids go when they get snatched up? They end up on these websites where pervs like him watch it and they, they're, they're being filmed getting sexually assaulted. So, you know, it it makes you think, it makes you wonder like, okay, like obviously these, these kids that he's watching more than likely they were kidnapped. These parents, their families, they're they're looking for their children. And and instead of identifying these children in order to help the parents reconnect with their children, this sick fuck right here, excuse my language is, is watching them getting sexually assaulted on a website. I mean, this this is beyond sick. All right. Splash, man. What do you think about this story right here? Like, subscribe, comment, share this video. If you want to support the channel, click the link in the description box below for the buymeacoffee.com page. If you want to hear me talk about Asian culture, what it's like to live abroad, what it's like to 
travel to different Asian countries as a, as a, as an American, you can, you know, subscribe to the membership of buymeacoffee.com. Or if you just want to donate, you don't have to become a member. You just want to donate. You can still go to that website and donate right there. Link is in the description box below. I'll see you in the next video, man. Peace.